So we have this circle. I can see that the center of the circle is at the origin. So right here, the center of the circle is at zero, zero. If I think about what I know about this circle. Now for any circle, it's true that the radius is constant around the circle. So any point that I choose, if I connect any of these points to the center of the circle, the radius will be the same from any of those points. So let's focus on, let's say like this point right here. So I'm gonna draw in the radius to that point. Okay, so whatever this is, we're going to call it R, whatever the radius might be for this particular circle. And then we're going to call mm, this point X, Y. Okay, so I know that for this particular point, the radius is the same as any other X, Y combination along the circle. So I'm going to drop down the vertical distance and draw in the horizontal distance there. So from the origin, right, this horizontal distance is the same as the x value of this point. And the vertical distance is the same as the y value of that point, since we're centered at the origin. So x and y, the coordinates of this point on the circle, are really the same as the vertical and horizontal distance between this point and my circle's center. These two little dotted segments I created also are perpendicular to each other since one is vertical, one is horizontal. So I've actually created a little right triangle here. Now we know from before that we can apply Pythagorean theorem to any right triangle so based on the information I have here, I know that if I do x squared plus y squared, that has to be equal to the radius squared using this right triangle that I drew within my circle. So that is where the circle equation comes from. So it's saying if my circle is centered at the origin, whatever point I choose, if I take its x values and its y values, and then view it as a right triangle, I'm basically just applying Pythagorean theorem for any point on the circle. So the x value squared plus the y value squared for any point on the circle must be equal to the radius squared.